I'm sprinting my sniper over there and get there just in time to uh, start scouting in the bushes. And um, once again, it's lagging. And I, I see you see like just now. I find those people in the bushes with my sniper scope, and they're sprinting toward this tank. If I hadn't have seen those, I imagine my ally would have just kept driving in, and student AT grenades would have just started flying out of bushes and um, destroying the tank. And there, there was a guy waiting in the bush, and he was about to kill that tank. I bet. Um, but uh, I saw him with my sniper, and of course there's no way they would have been revealed without the sniper, because the bush, you're basically invisible unless they get on top of you with infantry or you start firring. Uh, tank's really not going to see you out of its tiny vision slit, so uh, my ally, way too brazen with his tank, never move in with that infantry support. Um, he just killed a whole submachine gun squad, though, with that one shot from the tank, so that was good. But um, now that my ally has set up shop on the right with his tank that I carefully protected from dying uh, just in the nick of time with my sniper, um, I send in my submachine gun to, um, you know, sort of hold the point. And meanwhile, I'm moving up on the left. Um, I tell another guy to move back because the point wasn't capturing quite fast enough. Um, so, uh, again, I'm telling my people to spread out sort of in bushes. Uh, this is my sniper right now. Um, I'm having him scout those ruins before anyone moves in. Um, but, um, the whole reason the right didn't fall immediately when he moved in is because I had a couple guys in bushes and I caught those guys while they were prone in a ditch in an ambush so um, even having some people just to scout to give you some foreknowledge of where your opponent's attacking is going to help quite a bit and um, I don't know what happened over here but some of my men have been dying um, stuff's blown up but you know not a big deal and um, you notice the middle's been taken. I noticed it too, so I decided I'd go on a flanking maneuver with my submachine gunners. Uh, things became a bit more urgent when something started firing at them, so I got them behind this house, and now I'm just trying to I get them prone, and I just want to take out the middle. I want the middle back. You want the uh, majority of the points, because your points won't take out. We have 90 points, they have 264, so we got a 10 minutes left, so we got to get um, on top of things if we want to earn back the points and win this game. But yeah, middle has been in and out of everyone's hands. Left changed positions once, and right changed position positions once. So it's a nice dynamic game. We got fighting going on all over tanks and infantry, and not a bunch of artillery, which is fun. I don't like artillery so much. It's not that much fun. You just watch the shells go near, oh, boom, and you hope it hits something. And then it's like, oh, well, didn't hit anything. That's great. Um, and all my guys are in this nice little ditch over here. I, I like this map, uh, come to think of it. It's a really nice map. <laughs> There's some blowing up. Um, I just killed a combat engineer anti-personnel mine, which made me very nervous, which means he's probably got anti-personnel mines over there. What made me much, much more nervous was the Jagdpanzer right over here. Um, Jagdpanzer, um, I'm very worried about, but of course it's a tank. It can't really depress its gun to hit me in this ditch. So like an idiot, Furry Sun Tzu is just driving straight towards me, and so I tell everyone, get out your AT grenades, and um, let's go to town on this guy. First one misses, second one gets the track, and the third one blows up the Jagdpanzer. Um, and for just for good measure, someone chucks a Molotov cocktail so that thing's on fire and it'll die, even if I hadn't have destroyed the hole. Um, top armor on these tanks really not so fantastic. Top armor on any tank is not fantastic. That's why um, that's why it's nice to strafe tanks with planes. Can't really do that in Men of War. Although I guess if I ever play that one desert map with the airplanes, we can uh, we can maybe see some plane action. But um. Yeah, if you can ever hit the top of a tank, that's typically where it's weakest, and that's why AT grenades are good. What's really nice is seeing the top of the engine. So we've taken the middle back, and my ally sent some riflemen there, which is a pretty good idea, it turns out, because there's some long-range combat going on. Um, there's my guy, tell him to get in there. He, he lost his gun, I'm realizing now. I'm looking around, where did his gun go? I see an MP40. I figure I'll pick that gun up once I... Um, once uh, I capture the point, uh, the other three I'm going to stick back in the ditch. And the, my plan with them is either to shoot people who try and take the point back, or more likely take the point back once my opponent takes the point back. Back and back and back. Um, so now the point is mine, and he's going to sprint and go pick up his gun, because I don't know what happened, but he hits a mine. There's a minefield there. So now I know. I probably could have known, because those little explosion craters were right there, so sort of could have told. Sort of could have tell. I could have told. I could have, I could have noticed, but um, now I really noticed. Now I know there's a mine there for real. And like I said before, when I killed the combat engineer uh, AP mine guy, that gives you a heads up that there are mines around. Um, you ever watch Prince of Macedon's videos? He's a guy on YouTube. He makes, um, I guess, meta war videos. I think he makes Napoleon total war videos, and I think that's pretty much it right now. Um, he, I just watched his newest one. He has like. Ten, he, he's super popular. I'm sure you've heard of him because he's got like 10 million like subscribers or whatever. Um, I just watched his latest video. He was he he killed an eight couple AT mine 
guys and then drove right at him and surprisingly enough his tank lost both his treads to AT mines and he didn't seem to understand what was happening. If you ever kill someone in the upper left you see they were combat engineer AP mine or AT mine there's like a 80% 90% chance I don't know what this guy drove too close to a bush and got himself killed. Nice job KV85. Um, you ever dry, you ever kill someone who's a combat engineer AP mine or AT mine? Uh, duh they laid some mines somewhere so um, be on the lookout for mines because uh, that means there's mines about. So our opponents still haven't taken the left uh, back. I think that's understandable. They're doing fairly heavy assaults in the middle, and they also just managed to take the left back. So there you go. But um, like I said, probing everywhere. Um, I failed to mention the tiger that has been around for a little while. It's kind of over by those sandbags. I'm not sure if you can see it right now. It's way off in the distance, but um, that tiger is really what's got me worried. Oh, no, you can't see it right now. You can just see dead panzers. Uh, the tiger has got me worried right now, because I don't know what I'm going to do about that. My ally's got an ISU-152. That's shelling some stuff. That's all right. Um, but um, at this point, I'm just like, you know what, I don't even know what I'm doing about the tiger. Maybe my ally's going to figure out a way to get the tiger. The only thing I can possibly think of is some sort of amazing flank. And the only way I'm going to pull off an amazing flank is if I have both flanks uh, covered. Uh, the right flank is looking pretty good. I think I'm happy about that. So I'm going to work on the left flank. And while I'm at the left flank, I might as well take the leftmost point. And to take the leftmost point, I might as well have a sniper overlooking the point, just like I have a sniper overlooking the right. Uh, I see those bushes moving, so immediately I take my sniper. It turns out it's the wrong sniper. Take my other sniper, and bing! Up, oh, there's no one there. But, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is this? What is this? Look in the cornfield. Holy shit! It's a bunch of people. And, um, once again, my ally was possibly about to lose his KV-85 until, uh, my sniper pointed out some people. So, um, not sure why the tank is not firing, but he finally notices what's up. Starts reversing. And, um,.